Hello everyone, Clint Seeley here. Um, I just wanted to, I've been playing uh, around with the new uh, embroidery software, Bernina's new embroidery software, uh, version 7. And if you've watched my last tutorial or my last few tutorials, you'll know that uh, in the art canvas, the version of Corel that is now included with V7 has a quick trace feature. So I just wanted to quickly showcase um, something really cool you can do or how seamlessly this process is, how easy this process is now. Um, using using just a basic image search with uh, in Google Images. You don't even have to necessarily get out a scanner, hook it to your computer and start scanning away to get things uh, in, inside the V6. Let me show you. So we'll bring up our browser, and I want you to go, go to Google. This is the way the, the normal Google search looks like this, and you'll see the little black bar up here. Okay, now I might move a little fast. This isn't a full-blown tutorial, it's just kind of a teaser. If we hit images, we'll then search for some really good images that we can use for auto-digitizing and quick trace. <clears throat> What I want to look for are coloring book pages in Google Images. Now the holidays will be coming up soon or you may be getting ready uh, to design some things for the holidays. So I thought maybe Christmas, Christmas, coloring, coloring, let's try Christmas coloring pages. Okay, here you see a lot of line drawings, really nice stuff. A lot of line drawings that look like coloring book pages. This is what we want. Now, of course, we want to stay away from things that would that would be an infringement of copyright, like this Disney stuff here, and the the Minnie Mouse, and then this kitty. I think that's a Hello Kitty. You know, stuff like that. I'm not going to touch that stuff. I'm just looking for very generic things. I also want to sort my image search by the larger images first. If you get real good quality images, big images, uh, the end result is going to be better. If you start off with really small images, not so good. So I'll use the search tools and by more tools, no, size. I want to go larger than 1024 by 768, so it's going to show the largest uh, images first and here I've got a lot of nice stuff. I kind of like this this right here this mouse uh, Inside the stocking with the uh, The candy cane and the the gift and the little piece of holly. So let's click on that guy and then I'm going to hit View original image and that should show the real big image and then you have a you click on it and You see how big it gets you can kind of when you get to this point you can kind of see how clean the image is going to be and if the scan's going to look good. This looks good. So then I would just right click and hit save image as and then you would go ahead and save it. It's a PNG image. It's a good big image. So we go ahead and save that. That looks good. And then all we're going to do is open up the Bernina software. Switch over to the art canvas which where is where I'm at. Then I'm going to use the import feature. Okay. And I saved that in my, I think, embroidery folder. Christmas fun coloring pages. Let's see if that's it. Oh, yeah, look how big that is. Let's hit enter. Look how big that is. So that guy's selected. And then, oh, I love this new tool, this quick trace. I'm going to hit quick trace. We'll hit reduce bitmap. Looks good. Hopefully. Hopefully. There it is. Okay, so we got the trace. You see we have 58 objects here, and then we have the bitmap. I'm just going to select and delete that. And if I zoom in, now if you zoom in, you're going to see how clean the edges of these lines are. That's vector. Okay, that's a really good output. Now I'm going to colorize this image. So I'll select it, right-click, and ungroup all. Now I have all of these curves, okay, all of these objects. Now... Don't get discouraged, I'm moving fast. I'm just showing you how to how easy this is and how quick you can do this once you learn and get very comfortable with it. So the first object I'm gonna select, the, the Christmas sock, I guess that has to be red, right? So we'll turn that red and then I'm gonna figure out all the other red stuff that I want. 
So I'll hit my little eyedropper, select that color of red, zoom in, and then the, the candy cane will be red here, 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 and here. Maybe we give the mouse a red nose. These berries are going to be red, of course. Okay, the ribbon, this ribbon, this bow on the top of the, uh, the gift box is probably going to need to be red, yes. We got a nice red ribbon there. That looks good. And then we're probably, what, what about on the sock, maybe we go with uh, green here. Maybe a green like so. That looks pretty good. Now, you don't have to be married to these colors. Of course, when you put it on the machine and, and you're getting ready to embroider, of course, you can put whatever color thread on the machine that you want. I'm just going to go ahead and make these green and these stitches. Eh, we'll do those in green. You might not like what I do. That doesn't mean you have to select the colors that I do. I may not be the most fashionable or color coordinated guy, that's for sure. Uh, my wife will tell you that I'm not. Uh, so here, I'm just, eh, here. I want to just get all of these colorized. I'm, sh I'm just trying to. Oh, I did it now. I'm just trying to show you guys, gals, how easy this process is. It really is easy. Look at that. All right, got that. What about green? Maybe I make the leaves here a different color. I don't know. Should I put green in the package itself? Like so. These stripes maybe have a green. And, uh, you know, if we stick everything green and red, for the most part, we really reduce the amount of times that we have to change threads on the machine, that's for sure. Okay? So then we got all of our reds selected out here, and you may choose to go with different colors. What about this mouse? A gray or maybe kind of a gray purple? Something to that effect, really light purple that almost turns to a gray? That's cute. Okay? That's kind of cute. Select there. Get us. Here's a little hand, that little guy's hand right there. And then the holly, maybe. I mean, you could go with the same green, or you could make it a darker green. Let's see. That's pretty That's pretty dark. Maybe this we could do the same green to, to save on color changes. And then later, when we get into editing, we can do a fancy fill or a different stitch direction. And that'll give it more direct. It'll give it more uh, depth and separation against here. Because this, this stripe right here in the box we may turn into a split satin stitch and then do a a fancy stitch here a fancy fill stitch here so even though they're the same color they look quite different that's those are just kind of tricks of the trade right there so here here i've <laughs> i've brought this uh, bitmap in i've quick traced it broke it apart and colorized it very rapidly now there may be a background let me click here yeah there's a background uh, there you go to demonstrate. I'm going to delete that dude away because we obviously don't want to digitize that background as a bunch of stitches. And I'm going to select everything and you can see it's 23 inches by 37. We need to come down to something that's more manageable for a digitizer. Okay, there we got 7 by 11. Now you're starting to get into something that we can put into a hoop. Yes, let me zoom back in on this and I'm going to select everything. And this is just a start. Let's see if it went well. Convert to embroidery. And hopefully it looks nice and fits inside a hoop. We will see. We'll just give it a second. Oh, looky there. How nice does that look? Now, you see it's outside the margins of the hoop just a little. No problem. We'll grab the handle. Bring that guy down just a little bit. It'll recenter itself inside the hoop. This is really cool because you can see the hoop. You can see the red. Uh, you can see the red line. That's kind of the safety margin. It'll resize, and you just keep resizing until uh, you can fit inside that li large oval. Now, of course, ladies, if you have a uh, a larger hoop, say you have a uh, a 780 or a 750 or an 830 or the new 880 that's coming out. You got that big, huge uh, jumbo hoop, and you can fit really large designs in that guy. Uh, just a little bit more. And then that should get you inside all of the lines. But you can see how beautiful this is looking just 
boom, right off the bat, simple. You don't have to draw all this complex stuff. You start off with a coloring book page, and then instead of using your Crayola Crowns to make just a uh, coloring book page, you've taken that coloring book page and made beautiful embroidery off of it. This dude's almost ready to send to your machine and start making Christmas gifts. It's that easy with the new Bernina Embroidery Software Designer Plus version 7. Thanks for watching.